All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to say, call Allah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakah Kadash, that were honest to the elder apostle, great millstone, peace and blessings to all you brothers, teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the standard and the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and what you see on the screen is a, a, a article did by this analytics firm called the, the Gallup, okay? And it says, uh, and it was brought out July 2nd, all right? It says, American pride hits new low, few proud of political system. And I'm bringing this out because uh, this is going to give way into uh, 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 the sedition among men in the uprising of people here in America, okay? It says 45% are extremely proud the second straight year of subs 50% readings I'm talking about of the uh, what's that the, uh, the office that's in, in presidency today okay 22% of Democrats are extremely proud down 10 points in one year Americans most proud of US scientific success military it's lucky It's today, man. Oh, Satan bouncing around in everybody's phone. They're the Americans most proud of U.S. scientific success, military least proud of politics. Okay, and that's that's the strongest uh, branch that you want behind you in uh, politics. Okay, because that's your muscle. Your muscle is going a different way than your uh, than your leadership. Then you got a problem. And that's what we're about to see when this third war wars pops off. And uh, when it comes to uh, the uprising of the people, all right? It says Washington, D.C., as Americans prepare to celebrate the 4th of July holiday, the pride in the U.S. has hit its lowest point since Gallup's first measurement in 2001. While 70% of U.S. adults overall say they are proud to be Americans, this includes fewer than half, 45%. Who are extremely proud marking the second consecutive year that this reading is below the majority level because it's under 50 all right democrats continue to lag for behind far behind republicans in expressing extreme pride in the u.s these findings are explored further with new measurements of the pu public's pride in eight aspects of u.s government and society American scientific achievement, military, and culture arts engender the most pride, okay? While the U.S. political system and health and welfare system gone up the least, okay? So these are the things that uh, people uh, pride themselves on in America. And they saying that it's below average now, okay? Engendering uh, military and cultures and arts okay it says decreasing percentage in u.s are extremely proud to be american u.s adults extreme pride in being american has been steadily weakening in recent years in the current reading from a june 3 third to 16 gallup poll marks the lowest point to the date however the lowest latest two percentage point decline from last year's 47 percent is not statistically significantly changed okay let's go then to a bunch of numbers basically but it's just showing how the decline is happening it says democrats continue to express low u.s pride because you know i don't know much about the number thing but all it's showing is that people are, are trusting less in this society that they have built up in America, okay? And I'll be right back with some scriptures. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, this article was about the, uh, the pride of America. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll post it in the group chat. Not the group chat, but uh, on the description box, so uh, brothers could read it if interested, you know. But you get the gist of it. It says, uh, "I'm gonna read this last section right here." Hopefully, 
bring it to light a little bit more. It says, sources of pride in America, government, and society. In order to understand the sources of America's Americans' pride, Gallup included new questions in the June poll. Wow. Um, the questions asked Americans whether eight aspects of U.S. government and society make them proud. Strong majorities express pride in six of the eight American scientific achievement, which is the highest, the military second highest, the economic portion of it, I mean, American culture and arts third, economic 75, sporting 73, okay, and it says, uh, and diversity in race, ethnic background, and religion 72. Conversely, the American political system, 32%, which is a, an important thing, okay? That's supposed to be the glue that holds everything together. And health and welfare systems, 37, okay, are not sources of pride to most Americans. So those two things are <clears throat> is what uh supposed to hold <clears throat> a society together. <coughs> <clears throat> Salaki brothers. And um, as you can see, they're the lowest ones, all right? But like I said, let me bust out these scriptures. Close it on down. <clears throat> it's Isaiah 14 and 11. Yeah, I'll just get to the point. It says, Thy pump is brought down to the grave in the noise of thy vows. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms covered thee. And that's what's happening with this society, man. Okay. It's getting put into a... Uh, it's, it's getting put to death. All right? You can tell by the, the, the dilapidation that's going on. Okay, the infrastructure is very weak here in uh, Babylon the Great, man. All the roads have holes in them. Buildings are falling apart, just like in ancient Rome, okay? Uh, verse 12, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did its weaken the nations? And, you know, that's that pride, man, okay? Um, they, they proclaimed themselves the enlightened ones, all right? Because that word Lucifer just means like bearer, okay? Um, and they're, they're falling from their, from their steed, or their grace, so to speak, which is their rulership, man. Okay? Like it says in Isaiah, the 40, 43rd chapter, I believe, virgin, da uh, virgin daughter of Babylon comes in in the dust. Okay? It says, uh, and they weakened the nation how with uh, this strong drink, this philosophy, this wickedness, okay? And they go forth spewing across the, the free world. All right, it says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the most high. Yet that shall be brought down to the hell, to the sides of the pit. Okay, and that's what that uh, that uh, poll that the Gallup uh, had put out is in reference to, man. Pride, pride is being brought to a new low. Okay, so that's the end of of, of Esau's kingdom. Let me get this uh, scripture to go into it a little bit more. Uh, Second Ezra fifteen. And 15 says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. So, <clears throat> the two uh, main things is welfare, and uh, when they say welfare, that includes health care, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, other public uh, public 
aids or needs for us transportation, schooling, uh, health care, okay, and assistance. All right, that, that should be labeled under welfare, I believe. And, uh, and you know, the political aspect of it being low, not trusting the government. And this is why it's going to be sedition among men here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay, because the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom, has lost his reign of power. Okay. And you can see it because of all the lies that they're spewing back and forth about this Iran issue. Okay, it's making this poll even more sweeter. Okay, it's making it come to more light because uh, the more they lie, the more people distrust the government. Okay, and that's why it's on the bottom too. All right. So in that time when this uh this society. Uh, goes black, so to speak, with no more government to rule. That's when them FEMA camps are going to bust out, okay? That's when them uh, Gurkha troops are going to come through, all right? And then you're, you're going to have uh, people doing as they want because there will be no police officers to intervene. There will be no law, okay? And then you got a uh, verse 17. It says, "The man shall be desired to go into a city, and shall not be able." Okay, because they're gonna have uh, blockades, so to speak, so you can't travel from point A to point B. You know, you know people that live in, uh, let's say, New York, and you live in uh, Delaware, Washington. Okay. You're not going to be able to go to New York City and visit those people, which is just like a, a stone's throw, okay, from back and forth to that place. You won't be able to travel because of these uh, troops that's going to be all over the place, martial law, all right, because that's the only way they can stop uh, the downfall, or not downfall, but uh, they're being... Uh, high chaos in the street because it's still going to be chaos in the street all right but it's going to be coming from these troops man cracking people heads and shooting them down in the street man you know that's why we always uh say watch movies watch movies and you'll get the gist of how real it's going to be okay and uh the movie with ba batista um it escapes me right now. Um, it's called Brooklyn something, I believe. But that movie was a good, uh, good uh, 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 visual on how it's going to be in that day when this when this addition among men is going to happen. Okay, it says for in verse eighteen it says for because of the pride. The city shall, shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And yeah, that's going to be uh, a true statement, okay? Because if you don't have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the Heavenly Father of what's going on, you're going to be lost in the sauce, so to speak, man, okay? With no covering, all right? And your covering is uh, to the elect of Israel. It's Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Let me get one more and then I'm going to close it out, man. Because these times are coming, man. And now I'm glad I found that little article, man. It's uh. It's uh, also mocking what time we're in, all right? If the polls say that America hits a new uh, low in pride, hey, so be it, man. That's just giving further reference to the downfall of this place, all right? Get Isaiah uh, 19 and 2. 
And this is why I say that movie was a good movie to watch. Um, let me see if I can find a name real quick. Give me one second. This movie right here, Bushwick, Slovakia. I thought it was Brooklyn. But, uh, yeah, Bushwick. Okay. This is this is a good movie to watch right here to uh, get the gist of the scripture. All right. And when it says Egyptian against Egyptian, it just means uh, uh, the rulers against rulers. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, go back to that. And it says, and I will set Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, cities against cities, and kingdom against kingdom. Okay? And that's what you're starting to see right now. All right? In the, throughout the whole world, with the uprising of the people. Okay? Let's go back to a uh, thing real quick. Um... Second address fifteen. Cause it will uh, say it right here. Verse nineteen: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulations. All right, because it's going to be such hardships when this society becomes unplugged. All right, because they they're going to be rationing all food. They're going to be, it's going to be a mess here, man, okay, so to speak. It's going to be chaos everywhere. It says, Behold, said the power, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and of Lebanus, Lebanus, okay, to turn themselves one against another, and I repay and repay the things that they have done to them. Okay, so the Lord's going to make them fight against each other like as they do yet this day unto my children okay because they strived against the children of Israel so will I do also in recompense in their bosoms thus said the Lord power so hey this is getting down to the wire man alright the Lord is uh, definitely going to pit Egyptian against Egyptian alright like I said this is a good movie to watch when it comes to that reference okay or that scripture, right? So you can get a, a visualization in your head of how it's going to be, okay? And like I said before, Egyptian against Egyptians just means uh, ruler against ruler or power against power, okay? Because uh, this is their society. This is their kingdom. You know, and a good uh, history point to uh, put in there is the Civil War. Okay, the Civil War was also uh, uh, Egyptian against Egyptian, so to speak, the North and the South. Okay, but uh, like I said, man, the, the article was uh, enlightening, or it just called out in the spirit and say, "Hey, this is this is it for this place, man." Okay, America pride his new low, few proud of political system. And that's gonna just, it's gonna open up the box to uh, martial law, man. Okay? Because if we don't have pride in, in the uh, political system or in uh, the welfare of your country, what are people living there for? You know? There's nobody watching. Okay? So chaos is gonna ensue. So with that, I want to say call Allah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Baka Kadash. And with that, Shalom and Abad Babal.